All right, so today we're going to be picking a plaque, which is protocol 5.4. And what I have drawn behind me is um, my attempt at trying to draw out for you how to pick a plaque, because it's probably gonna be really hard for me to actually zoom in with the camera lens and have you see me literally pick a plaque. So what I have here is, this is the Petri dish. We have the bottom auger, and we have the top auger that, was, that we placed on literally on the top with the mycobacterium and the bacteriophage. This space right here is actually a representation of a plaque that you'll see on your plate. It's actually a clear zone, like a zone of death, let's call it. Um, and this is my drawing of a zoom in of it. So when you're actually looking at the plate, you're gonna see a circle. And so right here, we would want to Take our micro pipette tip and literally you want to touch the tip of the micro pipette to this zone right here. You want to try and actually, you don't want to stab it because you don't want to break through this bottom auger. You really don't even want to break through this top auger. You kind of just want to tap this zone right here and believe me, you're going to you're going to pick up bacteriophage and all you need is one that can replicate and grow it up. So what we're doing is taking our petri dish, gently taking the micro pipette tip, touching it to a zone right here, literally just tapping it to the zone and then we're going to put that into 100 microliters of phage buffer and when you take the tip you're just going to put it in to the phage buffer micro centrifuge tube and you're just going to swirl it around. You don't need to pipe that up and down. You don't need to kind of push it in there because the friction of stirring this around will remove the viral particle and have it displaced into the phage buffer. And then from there, we're gonna do another serial dilution series and grow it up so that we can have hopefully one type of bacteriophage and have a more pure type of culture so that we can do it another two times and then actually hopefully create lysate from it so let's actually go ahead and pick a plaque. So we've had our dilution plates growing overnight and you can see even from this distance that yay we have uh, plaque forming units grow and that means we have bacteriophage. So that's really really exciting. Um, personally it's always exciting to you know be able to see something that you weren't able to see that you collected from the environment. So with this plate, our first dilution series, um, the bacteriophage have completely cleared the mycobacterium lawn to be expected because remember, 10 to the minus one has actually the most amount of plaque forming units. It has the highest uh, viral um, amounts, let's say. 10 to the second is again, cleared, you could see that there is actually no individual plaque forming unit growth. 10 to the minus third, however, look how exciting. You can actually see the plaque forming units. It's a countable number. It's the first one of the series that, you'll act, that we're actually able to see the plaque forming units and the bacteriophage. So with this morphology, it's really easy to see, which is great. Some bacteriophage, though, are going to have like literally pinpoints um, of circles, or they could be really large. It's what we're actually looking at here in 10 to the minus fourth, which is um, more isolated of plaque forming units. We're looking at it's actually a, if you want to say a ring of death, it, it is. Um, so the bacteriophage have eaten through the mycobacterium, and in that plaque forming unit in that spot could be one, it could be millions, it could be a whole bunch of bacteria and lysed it open. So that's actually it's clearing its morphology is its spot of death, if you want to call it. Um, 10 to the minus fifth, even better, even more isolated, which is probably going to be best for picking a plaque, which we'll be doing today. 10 to the minus sixth, true to the dilution series, there's only one. I don't know if you could see it but there's actually only one plaque forming unit on this plate. So, but somewhere between 
minus 2 to the minus 3 might be best for making a webbed plate, which will be done later in the series once we've purified a plaque, which is what we're going to do by picking a plaque today. So we're going to actually take an isolated, an isolated plaque forming unit, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it through another dilution series and grow it up so that way we can see better its individual morphology and actually try and only obtain one bacteriophage when realistically with this dilution we could actually have more. We could have more than one type to be honest. So with that being said, let's get started. All right. So. What you guys can see is that I have my six series dilution plates out. And I don't need my 10 to the first. I don't need my 10 to the second. I'm not going to use my 10 to the third because there's too many plaques and there's not really any that are completely isolated enough that I want to take for purification. 10 to the fourth, I could use this one. I could use 10 to the 5th, it's possible even I use 10 to the 6th because there's only one plaque forming unit on it, but to be honest, I'm going to use my 10 to the 5th plate. I think this one has the, um, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it has about 6, I would say, maybe 7 or 8 plaque forming units, but I like this one that's right here, if you guys can see probably not. It's isolated, it's far away from any other plaque forming units, and I'm going to say that this one most likely would have a good chance of having just one type of phage. Now, right before you do take your plaque and pick it up, you might want to circle it on your plate. So when you flip your plate over, it makes life easier. You're also going to have your Micro pipette tube, um, micro centrifuge tube labeled with I wrote phase one because that's, I guess, what I'm going to call it for right now. And I'm going to flip my plate over and I'm just going to take the tip of the pipetter and touch it to that zone of death. <laughs> place it into my tube I've aliquoted out of phage buffer and just swirl it. Swirling it will remove the black from the micropipetter and of course the spose. So what I have now is my plaque that I picked and I'm going to make a serial dilution series from it because I'm going to remember with that platforming unit, you don't know if there's 1 million or 3 million, 5 trillion, who knows how many um, viruses are actually in that. So I'm going to make my series and then plate it out so that way I can see if um, there's different morphologies. Hopefully not because I picked from an isolated colony. And I want to actually see the quantity or how many do I have that I can grow to pick that webbed plate so that way I can make my lysate from. All right, so now that we've picked our plaque, we're going to run through serial dilutions. So by now you've already seen the video and you've done it in lab. You know how to do serial dilution. And like I've said, there's a lot of repetition with these protocols. So I have my aliquot out of phage buffer because I'm going to fill each of my six tubes with 90 microliters of phage buffer. I have my phage that I've picked, and I'll be adding 10 microliters of my sample to my first 10 of the first tube, and moving 10 microliters over each time. And I have my six plates out. I'm going to have my name, the date, and what it is on my plates. So since this is a dilution series, you know, 10 to the minus first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, we're going to have on there. But perhaps you thought of a name for your phage. Perhaps you're not sure. But either way, 
you would want to label these plates with what it is. It's no longer just a direct isolation or environmental sample. You've now picked a plaque. Really cool. You actually have a phage in there. So we have our place out labeled. We have our seal dilutions that we're going to make. And we're just going to then plate our plates just like we did before for the plaque assay. And good luck.